guys welcome to my channel today i'm going to share with you how to make a world pocket we are going to make a single world pocket okay so i have my pocket i have two one is longer than the other the difference is one inch okay and i have these two also one is bigger than the other but even the smaller one i'll still reduce it after attaching it okay so this one is three inches and this one is also two inches i will reduce it after attaching okay so from your shoulder we are going to measure nine inches bear in mind that when you join the back to it is going to add two inches to it so when i measure nine inches at the end of the day i'm going to have something between 10.5 Two inches added is going to be 10.5 because I'm going to sew half inch here. And so instead of nine inches, I can choose to measure eight inches. Okay, so eight inches will do. So you can measure between eight and nine. Okay, let me make it eight and a half. Okay. Then from there, I'm going to measure 2.5. So I have 2.5 here so that's where our pocket is going to start from so this is the middle of the dress the neck line middle so that is where we're going to measure our 2.5 then from this 2.5 we are going to measure uh, 5 inches so the pocket length is going to be 5 inches so this is the 5 inches I'm going to have a straight line to meet it so five inches okay pocket is usually the width is usually between five inches okay so from here i'm going to measure you see i've placed half inch on this so i'll measure half here and i'm going to measure half also here okay and i'll come here i'll do the same thing half here and half also here so I'm going to join this half and then join this half too. Then I'm going to check it. I'm going to join this way. Okay. So I'll join this. And then come here to join the same thing okay and so this is it so this is where we are going to fix our pocket so because it's a single i'm going to use this is the bigger one i'm going to place this one at the down here now this the length is seven inches you don't cut it equal to this no so seven inches you see and this one to the same thing seven inches you see and if this is five inches it means if this is five inches it means the middle of this is going to be 2.5 do you get it and so we are supposed to get this one the middle so we just create a notch here and then this one to the middle we'll just create a notch Okay, so let's this meet the middle here this way just at the middle and then this one to meet the middle here this way equally see because we want this side to be the same this side and this side to be the same okay so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to sew half inch half inch here half inch up to the five inches point we are not going to go to this point and so we are going to mark the same five inches so if this is seven inches we need to get our five inches so we are going to mark one inch on each side also here you see and this one too is the same so we are going to do the same thing also for this the same thing here then the same thing also here and so this is it so you see 
and so you are going to measure the half inch we're going to sew on half inch half inch then we'll come here to the same zone half inch half inch okay so this is it so you are going to sew on this line up to this point sew on this line up to this point i'll do that and then come and show it to you okay so i am done joining next okay so what you are going to do is this we are going to divide this middle line we are going to cut it through but what we do is we are not going to cut it up to this point we are going to measure half inch here so from the five inch we'll measure half inch here half inch here and then from here to we are going to measure half inch that is from the middle half inch okay and so we are going to cut up to this point up to this point now when you get to this point we'll turn it this way and cut it this way and so let me we'll cut it this way and then cut it this way you see you see the mark that i've made here triangle like this so you are going to cut it this way and this side to do the same for it cut it this way and then cut it this way you see so that's how we are going to cut it this way and so i'll just fold it this way in the middle line just cut it small okay so i'm going to cut it through so i'll cut it this way so when i get to this point i'll stop and then go this way to this point make sure you don't go very deep see let me go a little bit close to the sewing part then i'll come here too and cut this so this is it we are going to have it this way and i'm going to do the same thing for this part also Okay, so I'll use the scissors to do it. See, and then cut it this way. You see, okay. Then we'll cut this one also. Okay, so this is it. So the next thing is you are going to push this inside this way I'm going to push everything inside so it's going to be like this where we did the cutting to you push it inside so you're going to have it this way and we are going to iron on top very well make sure this side to go in and then we'll iron on top so i'll do the ironing and come and show it to you okay so here is it i am done with it you see i'm done ironing it and this is the opening side so when we turn it this is it okay so that's what you are going to do we are going to push this the down part to mix this equally this way and we are going to iron on top so I'm going to do this iron on top and I'm going to bring this out the half inch here out to meet it with it this way so I want it to be equal so this way and I'm going to iron on it so I will iron on it and come and show you the result okay so here is it now when I turn it it you see 
yeah it's well covered now the next thing we are going to do is i'm going to turn it this way and we are going to secure this you see we are going to secure the so this place then we'll secure so we just turn it this way and then just secure it on top secure this the side hope you can see secure the side well and then you do the same thing for the other side also so you turn it this way place it down and then you secure the spot very well hope you get it okay the upper part here i'm going to reduce it by uh, by half inch i'm just going to reduce small from it is to add my pocket but before i'll add my pocket i'm going to bring this the upper part down this way so when i bring it down it's going to be like this you see and i'm going to run top stitch from here secure it here all through to so just secure it here okay then after i'll attach my pockets to it I have two of the pockets. One is long, one is short. The longer one is 7.5 and the shorter one is 6.5. The shorter one will come to the down here, this way. So I'm going to join it this way. So I'll turn it this way and then sew it on top this way. Okay. Then this one will come to the down part here and I'm going to attach it this way see i'm going to join it this way all through i'm going to join it all through so i'll do that and come and show it to you okay so here is it here is it so it's equal okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sew here hold this place and sew from this place all through like this to this place secure it very well so after what you have to do is to knit the whole pocket and you are done okay so here is it i'm done with it so this is it see this is the pocket so this is it so what i did was after i just run some stitches double here and double here you can decide to do the down part but if you want to do the down part make sure you do it before you attach the pockets mm -hmm. okay so here is it so this is our walt pocket single walt pocket i'll bring you a video on how to do the double walt pocket thanks so much for watching if you have not yet subscribed consider subscribing like and share this video Bye bye